is a meeting for the problem solving course and uh, I'm Maria Dushkova. I'm talking uh, with Horn. We will be discussing mass dreams. So Horn, can you talk a bit about yourself and what are your dreams about children and mathematics? I see. Yeah, I, I, I'm interested in this primarily be, because I have a son who's, who's just turned seven. He's uh, very precautious mathematically. So personally, uh, I'm, I'm uh, trained as a chemist. I had a PhD in organic chemistry. I work for pharmaceutical industry. And uh, I'm okay at math. I, it's, it's, uh, uh, I mean, m my competency in math is... is uh, I think it's it's reasonably good. It's it's, uh, but it, it's pretty much stopped at at the high school level, and uh, I only study calculus after. I mean, once I I enter college, that's about it. I use that in 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 st uh, statistical me mechanics, thermodynamics, all those sort of things, <laughs> quantum mechanics. But that's pretty much rudimentary calculus. So, so that's me. So. so uh, it's, it's mainly for my son. So he, he's very precautious and uh, he he's interested in number shapes as far as we can remember. And uh, even uh, I can remember when we he's about like maybe one or or, or one year old or or maybe somewhere less than two. I I don't remember well when we took him to supermarket and uh, all, he spent all the time watch the number size, <laughs> all the price tag, all the, the 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 number on the post at the the checkout, the, uh, the cashier one, cashier two, <laughs> to count everything before he wanted to <laughs> go home. So so that that's uh, so at about five year old, a little less than five, because he's too active in the class. In, in kindergarten, in, it's not called kindergarten, here I'll call preschool. Fifth year old would go to elementary, start uh, elementary school and start as a kindergarten level. That's the system in California. It's, it's maybe a little different between state. So at that juncture, before we go to, before we went to elementary school, we took him to education and psychologist. Who was, we did some research, seemed fun, they rather the competent one, he wrote books, he, he gave talks, and uh, we met him, and he discovered right away Derek is very precautious in, in math. At, at, at fifth, at a uh, little less than five year old, he, he was talking about, yeah, he, he has the equivalent math age of, of sixth grader. And, but that's uh, just give a little background if you're not a psychologist. That doesn't mean he knows everything. That, a sixth grader should know. It's, it's just uh, from a statistic view. They, 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 they test I, IQ, everything later on. And uh, this is steam precautious. So, so we, we start doing a little bit for him, but we don't know what to do. What we find out was that some of the video online are very appropriate for him. Uh, on art of problem solving website, I'm sure you're familiar with. There's a pre-calculus, a whole set of video show by Richard, and he 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 watched it over and over and over, and he just loved it. We so that's last for a while, and which satisfy his need, and uh, and then I guess because his age, he he wasn't too much. He, he didn't show as much answers as to Richard's algebra video after he finished. He, he still watched, he still loved it, but, but you can see the difference there. You can see that the, the difference is actually quite significant. <laughs> what is the difference in your mind? What do you think is different for your son? When he watched uh, pre-algebra and yeah. algebra? It's just, I mean, I would say even at the lower level, it's probably the, the interest he showed probably way higher than a normal six-year-old. Yeah. But, but, but for instance, he would, when he watched watch, uh, 
uh, pre-algebra, for instance. Let me give you a story. He, he, he was like five and a half, and uh, <laughs> one, maybe five and a half, and, or, or maybe about six. Let's say about six. So, 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 so maybe one, he, he kept watching. He doesn't want to stop. We have to take him for baths, for instance. So we take out all the clothes and, and try to turn out the water. We turn around, he ran away. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? Just one more episode? <laughs> wow. Because age or, or I mean, he, he doesn't do that anymore when he watch algebra. We never push him to watch. It's just right. whatever he wants to do. And in between, I, I think he feel in love with, was uh, was some of the the DVD produced by Arthur Benjamin, the professor from Harvey Mudd. Uh, Derek then actually over the last year about uh, yeah he he actually met Arthur twice. <laughs> That's Arthur is was it, it, the, was it interesting for him important for him to meet these people? Yeah yeah it's it's, it's hero is no one can can compare <laughs> with. Uh, was I think last summer when when we were at the Davison summit, Arthur gave a talk there. They met. They talked. He was a daring actor, served sort of as a, a assistant in Arthur's show. Mm -hmm. Actually, there we met one more time uh, last January when when the joint mass meeting held in San Diego. So so you. The, the, I'm not trying to describe the relation, but, but I was trying to describe what kind of mass, what kind of uh, presentation actually are tremendously interesting for Derek. For instance, for, for, for Arthur's presentation, uh, we start because, because uh, Arthur have a set of video talking about the, the, the mental calculation and all those. Mm -hmm. We thought Derek is, is, is interest. And he showed, he watched it, he, he did interest. But you know, initially the interest level was not as high as I, I expected. Then I realized, actually, in many instances, we encountered for the like multiplication. He's done with it, right? <laughs> no, he. That's, that's what he realized. No, no, no. I, I, I mean, that, that level. yeah. Even with a normal, normal way to calculate. He can do mentally pretty easy, so so some of the trick may not seem important to him. So, but okay. it indeed show the love for for the presentation. And when when he finished that, he start watch. He start watch because when we met Arthur about a year ago actually, so Arthur brought some DVD he made and uh, and sell that as. At a discount, then one of them called Joy of Mathematics is clearly not for kids. It's clearly not for kids. Oh. <laughs> and uh, we bought one to just as a good analysis. You, but then you realize he he's he watched that intensively. It's Even, a pretty involved movie. It's a pretty advanced movie. Yeah, it's, I I think that the yeah the style. I I I think I guess no matter how to talk about. The style <laughs> he talk is very attractive to kids, but on the other hand, the content was was really not for kids anymore, and it's very condensed. The geometry, the joy of geometry, sorry, a minute, right? The joy of calculus, a minute. <laughs> but no way I can believe Derek get most of them, but he he did watch all of them repeatedly, even for the part there's. No way I can imagine he, he understand any. So. Well, you never know, right? You're right, you're right. Uh, over time, you realize he you knows sine, cosine, all those. <laughs> it's, it's tangent, sine over cosine is tangent, all those things. He, he knows. I, I guess likely he, he got there. Some way he met it. So, um, given this richness and this big interest you have the, and uh, of course it's uh, there are the, its own challenges because your kid is young still yeah so, yeah yeah so um, it uh, looks like a mature 
rather more advanced mathematician living in a young body almost but not quite you know he's still uh, a kid he plays yeah, and yeah I'm sure. yeah yeah you 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 touch a very important point and, and the very the biggest challenge for us is besides mass and everything else he, he he's he looks like at his age he 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 do everything other kids do and sometimes you i i sometimes just feel he 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 actually behaves a little bit younger than than, than his actual age. So, so given that uh, situation you have on your hands, right? Uh, wonderful adventures and meeting the mathematical heroes and uh, watching these cool movies and the young kid who is very much a young kid. So, what do you? What are your dreams for your child? For this child who's a very, very special child. Uh, we actually don't know. My, my wife and I, we, we chat about it uh, once in a while. So we, we actually don't have something like we really want him to do. Is We we we, we don't have that. We, we just feel... Okay, let, let me ask a smaller question. Sure. Uh, just uh, for mathematics education, that's what uh, uh, we're talking about. Yeah. For mathematics, uh, what are your dreams of how it can go well for your kid in the next few years? I what, see. what is in your dream world? How yeah. is he learning okay. mathematics? We just feel we need to, like, uh, the, the, we have no intention to push him to, to finish anything by a certain time, but we certainly don't want to hold him back because the thing he's facing, he loves math, and the school cannot really cannot really help. To be to be totally fair, I, I think the school has been really, really care. We went to a public elementary school, so start with kindergarten, and uh, they ask him to skip a uh, grade one, and he just finished grade two a week ago. So, so the school actually decide soon after he 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 joined the school. The school did the evaluation for almost last two years. The school almost every week they pull him out at the math time of his classmates, have a teacher's aid to do something at his level. But what they can do at his level is is, is fifth, sixth grade material because because the elementary school teacher they don't teach anything beyond that. It's it's just the way it is. And because he, his age, his maturity, there's no way anyone he can go to a seventh grade. We, we can, we can. It it just. I mean, he needs to survive too, right? <laughs> yeah, it's it's a it's you know if if we put him in the in the. Uh, I mean, if you put him in the content of seventh grader, I'm sure he's going to be doing fine yeah, academically. No but that's probably going to be to be a disaster for the teacher, for the classmates, and also so, I think he would. So what play. do you want then? Huh? <laughs> what do you want? What what happens in your ideal world with I, mathematics? I think for the I <laughs> no, there are only so much I I imagine I. I for now, I I was thinking is a lot of good things must be happen outside the class. I I think the school did what they can possibly do, so we're trying to see if he he was like would would participate in something like the MOOC you organize geared towards young kids or 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 uh, or talking about more on because the age I I think at certain point I also talk to other parents of precocious kids. Most of them think at some point the kids gonna hit some limitation because of the age. When so some parents say well, when you start, you think that they can start geometry, but when they start, they realize the proof everything is is not necessarily the age is appropriate. It's uh, sometimes you need the writing skill. You need, but although what? it's different, but they said. What? question though about this um, well let's say you take geometry right so there are these formal proofs and symbols and everything but at the same time you could take these ideas and do them informally yeah you yeah could change yeah. the geometry for your kid you could change calculus for a kid or you're right um, whatever string theory whatever you you you, you want you're right so right. Uh, and some there are some efforts towards that. I mean, yeah, there is yeah. A book. You, you must have known everything about that. For, for instance, it's just, just this happened. Can you see this book? Uh, 
called the magic of numbers. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, can you can you lift it a bit higher? Uh, okay. No, I don't think I have. No. So so this actually I. I mean, it's exactly reflect you just mentioned. Mm -hmm. This book is is uh, we found that some content for, for for this book. For instance, if I read a chapter myself and mm -hmm. try to talk to him informally, you can't say say if I say four letter sequence, we don't want any repeat in there. How many <laughs> way all those sort of things? He actually can can do pretty well. He but can do well the, and he appreciates it, right? He likes yeah, it. yeah, yeah. He, he likes it. He can do well, but by no means we can expect him to read this book. Okay, it's not written in the way. Yes, that exactly, exactly. Talks to him. Those actually a a a lecture note basically published for I Early I think college probably. Huh? Yeah, I think at Harvard they set up they, they had a course for non major. To want to appreciate the beauty of mathematics, mm -hmm. so, from the so, introduction of the book, I thought mo most of the the students actually are are more on the not only not math but not like physics, <laughs> liberal arts. Huh? Yeah, it's more on on the literature side, but they they love the beauty of math. They don't. Want, so. so so it's already. Adapted somewhat for more casual audience, yes, it's not for yeah. scientists or engineers. Yeah. And then you adapted more for your yeah. son because he's younger. Yeah, but the yeah. level is college level uh, topics. You can adapt it for him, though. So it looks like you want to help him do things like that and find other people who can, right? Yeah, yeah because he really hear it, right. Because he really enjoys, there's nothing he enjoys more than this kind of things, and if he's, he he can and he can easily get bored. He doesn't have much patience, <laughs> and uh, and but the challenge is only so much I can do. So both in terms the depths mathematically and in terms how much time I can invest into this. Right, uh, you know, because uh, short of fully homeschooling. How can you provide enough to satisfy mm. his hunger exactly. in mathematics? So, uh, have you found local people who could help with that? Who could do things like you are doing with the joy of numbers? Not for, really. For we we actually because at at the, the joint mathematics meeting uh, mm -hmm. uh, in Je the last January, there's a lot of math. Uh, math circle folks there, uh, mm -hmm. and the math teachers circle folks there. Mm -hmm. um, so, so I think I, I, we probably met James Tenton, who's on the on the faculty list. But I'm not sure we we we, we didn't discuss much. That there's a, but but in, with some folks like uh, Tanya Shubin, like mm -hmm. uh, like yeah. Harold Ritter, mm -hmm. some we also met some. Mathematician who must be very precautious when he or she was a kid, like uh, is that David Elberg or, or what Elberg? The last name is Elberg. Eric Demian, Dem Eric. Okay. No, but but there, there are several. But, well, yeah, there are quite a few, so we probably uh, won't guess the same one. <laughs> most of them point us to the math circle at San Diego. We did some. Interaction with the director, with some of the faculty, the the, I mean, is this one of the really top one in the nation, actually in San Diego? Yeah. So it's so, an excellent mass circle and one of the oldest too. Yeah, but the the challenge we took him there once, mm -hmm. it didn't work out. They really, really, I I guess because they're so popular and a lot of parents mm -hmm. want to send their kids there, they have to set very hard. Line on on the age, right? They won't take anybody young. Yeah, that's, so, that's an issue. Yeah, they didn't. I I know line. For instance, the the uh, yeah. the Davidson seminar. We we learn your work. They, I, see, I can't remember the name. Sorry, in the, the moment. It, uh, Julia. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. 
what, what's the last name I, I can't pronounce? Julia Brodsky. Okay, Julia Brodsky, she said her math circle actually, they, they spend a lot of effort to take care of the young. So we don't have anything nearby. Okay. So it's, yeah, take... it's an issue. So you, you may uh, almost need to organize something yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, uh, it takes uh, getting a few parents together and taking turns with them. So not everybody does everything all the time. Yeah, it yeah. It saves a little bit of uh, uh, effort, but also what it gives kids is access to other people. Yeah. So, so it, it's fun for kids to sometimes talk to, to different people. Yeah, so, yeah. So uh, if parents just... Uh, or, or finding graduate students who can help, who are open to talking to kids... Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. We 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 thought we could try that. There, there was once someone else also recommend that, but but we we look into a little bit, but but we we struggle on what to decide because uh, it's m most m most young mathematician doesn't have the experience to deal with. <laughs> this kind of, it's indeed too young. It's 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 just too young, and uh, and I think I I think. The school actually have a math club, primarily for sixth grader, and uh, he made a lot of friends there. Nice. But but but, but uh, I I think he participated contacts with them. Mm, that's about it. He, I mean, the topic they talk about, it's I'm not sure. I I just don't feel very accurate. Look forward to that meeting every week. It's it's. It's good, but not, but not something he look forward to. Is is, I mean, it's just a problem. The pace is is very different. He learns things. Once he gets it, he he has no patience for the next. <laughs> it's not it's not just the level. It's how fast you go from that level. So even if yeah, you he, find he, the right level, <laughs> how fast you go from there, it's another yeah, issue. Yeah, he, he so. learns <laughs> fast than Pierre and and. Uh, he doesn't, at his age, he still doesn't know how to behave himself, so that... Well, well maybe he yeah. knows how to behave like a seven-year-old, so, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's a challenge. Okay. It's, a, it's a challenge. And we we plan to go to Ypsilon camp next year. Mm -hmm. We talked with them this year, they, they, they like him, but uh, again, I mean, six-year-old, they say, hey, yeah. once he turns eight, mm -hmm. we... we you, have a better luck just finding one person to play with him one on one, a student or someone who would just do what you do with the book or go around museums or just solve math together. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it, it may be easier, but if you find a few parents who would do things together, however. Well, they have to be compatible with how fast people learn, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, it's, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a challenge. So, um, for this course, you, you'll be adapting things for him. You'll be changing problems. I would be very interested if your son uh, changes problems too for other kids. I see, I see, I see. So yeah, he he liked to to. We when when I sometimes pose the problem, just like I mentioned, mm -hmm. the, the 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 counting problems, and I mean, he 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 likes to say, "But hi, Dad, I have a problem." And but but he he has he's not very good to clearly clearly articulate no. himself. But but Kids aren't usually. yeah, but but actually lately there is some very positive. Thing is, uh, the teacher's aide who works separately with him on math uh, noted that he started to trying to work with him to try to write a problem clearly, try to like, write in a way other people understand. I think they made a lot of progress, but it didn't last very long that activity because because Derek liked to to. When they gave him assignments, say Derek, write two problems, and then we can discuss how to make it perfectly understandable. And oh, well, Derek, may or may not be interesting, right? 
he the one I, I mean the the problem per se are interest to him is not in, it is it might be too much for the teacher's aid. He likes to wrote like they don't the understand cartoon. not because he can't express but because they don't understand the mathematics. Yeah, yeah. They want to work on something like within the curriculum but but Derek doesn't and that that's a challenge for the teacher. So, so maybe when we do it in this course, maybe he can explain problems to you and you can write them more understandably. Because yeah, what's yeah, interesting yeah. is I, I, to, I think yeah. you will understand what he means really well because you know, his dad <laughs> we, we have a lot struggle at this. Uh, so so uh, when he explains the problem, maybe he can just uh, talk to a microphone, record himself, or talk to you, and you can capture that. You can help him make it. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah, we'll try that, yeah. Because this may be interesting for him to share problems with other people. To, I to see. Make, to make his own versions, to make the problems more challenging, maybe. I see, I see. I mean, maybe for you even, maybe he can pose problems for you, see, see if he can <laughs> challenge you. <laughs> but, uh, uh, share. so that's what what's interesting here because we want to make a lot of versions of the problems I see I see and I, I think it may be interesting for Derek and for, for others I see that's mm. good that's good okay so um, now this were my uh, questions uh, do, do you have more questions or comments about uh, our activities uh, uh, if you still have a minute, I I like to know a little bit about the the course you organize, organization, the 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 how this is going to work. So so the honestly the other reason we we I I signed up this is I saw I I I got this information from Julia and and I I go sign up. I realize one of the faculty members is Jim Tenton. So Derek love his. Uh, he, be, be, because he has a lot of things on the website, many things Derek love. I think if if not because his Australian accent, that Derek may love even more. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So so yeah, that that's one one very very rich resource for Derek. We, we can pull out some notes right. for Derek, uh, or or have a video for Derek. So. So uh, the the course is organized around uh, James Tanton's essays. Called inspirational essays for mathematics for problem solving, and uh, we will uh, make the first three uh, pieces available tomorrow. So they will come every uh, every week, and so you will have a week or so to look at them, to share what you plan to do with them. I see. That will be the assignment of the course. I see. To look it, at is that a a PDF, a, a a a document or a yeah, video? A document. A document. So I know a lot of people wanted videos, and that's something we need to talk with James about. James is traveling right now, so I don't know if he'll make videos right during the course. But uh, we worked. Uh, James uh, uh, and Elena and I worked together to prepare the essays for this. I see. So, and uh, James may recommend some of his videos to go with the, with the, some of the existing videos to go with the course. So we'll see what happens. I, I know people uh, want the videos, so maybe James will make some at some point. I see. Uh, yeah, right. I, I don't have right. preference. I, I love just... his videos too. <laughs> he, he's great. And so uh, people will interact on the forum. So we sent information about this forum. And uh, it will be however you want to share things. You can post links to videos. You can uh, record stories. Uh, you know, if kids especially want to record something, you can post pictures and just text. So you can basically exchange this uh, reports of what you do in any form you like. I see, I see. You can okay. post your own questions uh, and you can answer of course everything other people post i see good good so we will have three weeks and um every week we will prepare well if, if we will have four weeks so we will prepare three problems the next week we run those three problems and prepare the next three problems That's how i see goes. 
I see, I see. Starting to tomorrow, we will make the problems available so people can prepare them. I see, I see. Mm -hmm. So it's good because that the holiday come along, so so the kids have plenty of time. Right. And the parents. <laughs> right. So that's the idea. Great, great. Okay. So there's no like uh, a class time for this, like meeting. We couldn't make a live time because people are I all see. over the world and yeah, yeah. Short that's okay, make, yeah. making five or ten different meetings per week. So <laughs> we decided to have these conversations at the start and then uh, uh, to do things on the forums. Maybe we'll have a live event at the end where uh, some people can come and some people can see the recording. If so, mm -hmm. it will probably be around uh, e evening time on on, on, on on the weekend. So evening time uh, in the U.S. on the weekend. <laughs> so see. some people will catch it and some people won't. Uh, uh, but uh, it will be on the forums just so people can do it at different time zones. I see, I see. Mm -hmm. So so if I can ask what what your organization is about, you okay. it's oh. like your day job or, or something you, you do you do as just like my circle is is, is volunteer or, or your Okay. Um, me personally uh, I, uh, my profession is mathematics education. I That's see. That's where my uh, degree is and my expertise. I am actually specializing in adapting things like algebra and calculus for young kids. So that's I my see, special I interest, my research and my development work. So designing games, you know, algebra for four-year-olds, that sort of I see, thing. I see. That's, yeah, we got the right person. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Got the right and person. So some of the things uh, my company does are consulting for curriculum development, for uh, game development. Uh, I do, I doing see. grants uh, and do, doing research and development, basically. And a part of it is that we do things like this course where we, we work with parents and other teachers. So uh, it's it's an effort of um, several people. We have people working with us uh, as consultants. We have this open structure. So we put teams together project by project. Basically. I see, I see. That's, I that's see. the model for it. I mean, there are people who work on multiple projects and there are people who come on one project. So uh, we published Mebus Noodles this year is the effort in making a community book. So, uh, and we are working on uh, more books, seven more books at the moment with different teams of authors. So James Stanton's is one of those. I see, yeah, I see. That's great, that's great. Yeah, I, I think that, that that's really nothing there for those kids. I mean, it's, it must really feel a big, big gap. And uh, for instance, Derek, Occasionally ask, Dad, can you buy me a, a calculus book? <laughs> it doesn't mean he you know calculus, but if you if you bought one for him, he indeed, I mean, I'm not sure what he does with that. He, he, he did take the book, spend time on that. I have no idea to gauge how much he learned. Get him the book called Calculus for Seven-Year-Olds. <laughs> yeah, I heard about that book, but 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 we, we never... We, we saw this out of print, it's, it's a, but I never saw a sample. It's a great one, in your opinion? Okay, we actually, um, I like it. It's, it has good activities and it has a workbook. Uh, the workbook. The workbook is now Creative Commons. We talked to the author, actually, he's a great person, Don Cohen, and uh, uh, he made his worksheets Creative Commons, open license. So uh, I think you can uh, obtain it now, download it. Oh, really? He has a website or anything? Right, Mathman. Yeah. So uh, oh. you can. Uh, I'm. We're thinking of uh, may maybe reprinting it because I, I really like the materials too. And he has a map to calculus uh, that's also free. Uh, so I see. I see. You can yeah. find some calculus ideas for young kids. Um, and uh, maybe what you are doing with popular courses now, like the joy of numbers, 
the mm -hmm. problem may, may be something like this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 For the moment, we, we will, when he asks, uh, uh, like, can I have a calculus book? Can I have a trigonometry book? We, 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 we search around, we talk to people. I, I think so far the best we found was they call, there's a series called, called Life of Fred. I think that that's probably the best we can we could have fun for him. Um, well, we'll look into the the Massman website. I I think I think I heard one of the, the parents we, we talked to at, at the Davidson seminar mentioned you have to contact the author to get the book. We, we didn't attempt yet. So, but but now we get massman.com. Yeah. Well, um, so so we'll see. And these are the kinds of questions to ask. Uh, on the forum, so who knows a good calculus book for active seven-year-old, <laughs> <laughs> or what materials would you recommend? There are some videos too and mm -hmm. some ideas. So I, I bet there are people there. There are several people from Davidson, uh, so they will understand mm -hmm. uh, your yeah, I, better. I don't think Derek is at the level he understand calculus. It I did just show you his aptitude. He occasionally. Yeah, I really want to have a. <laughs> This is a very interesting question because I bet there are ideas in calculus he can understand. Uh, I bet there are parts of uh, calculus lore, so to speak, or calculus uh, playfulness that he can do. And uh, I bet there are some aspects you could modify for him that he would understand. So, yes and no. If someone took calculus and make it into Derek's calculus, you know, special yeah, for yeah, him, yeah. I bet he would do it. So that's my dream. I want every kid to have yeah. his and or her own calculus. <laughs> and I want to develop tools for parents and teachers so they could do it easier. Because yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. parents can already do it to some degree, what you are doing for your son. But I want more tools for that. That's my dream. That's why we're doing yeah, this yeah. research. How can people do it? Yeah, so, yeah. That's going to make it a lot of people can jump in to help and it makes life a whole lot easier. <laughs> well, I, I hope we can do this together. I hope we can study the ways of making it happen. That's great. That's great. It's a, it's a wonderful endeavor. It's, it's really great. It, it, it's a great honor and pleasure for us to be part of it, really Thank wonderful. You. And I love uh, having your family because you have interesting needs, you are doing interesting things, and this will help to make things happen for yourself and for others, because yeah, uh, yeah. this is a great case study, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, in terms of case study, uh, uh, Probably almost two years ago, someone referred to us, talked to an expert in 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 Iowa, uh, mm -hmm. you know, so Iowa. The, she and another co-author wrote the book called "Developing uh, Developing Mathematical Talent," I guess. So so, but 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 that that book actually helped us tremendously. At two years ago, to try to understand what's going on with Derek and what he can possibly do. Was particularly they teach a lot of way to deal with school to try to make sure school understand. And uh, at the end of the book, there's uh, a few case study they de mm -hmm. describe the kids they interviewed in in the past. And nothing was stranger to us. We saw a piece of Derek in every one of them. <laughs> so it so it's, it yeah. helps to know what other people are going through too. Yeah, those really really help us to to just have. A, a, a adequate assessment. Yeah, we're not alone. Those some kids just behave that way. There are ways to to nurture them, <laughs> although it's it's not easy. But at least there are ways that there are people. I mean, in the field are are, are experts. Some parents actually did a better job than others. <laughs> but th those are really assuring then. We'll have a place to share resources, so you can probably share this book to to tell us oh, absolutely. about it. Absolutely, absolutely. So, uh, I'll I'll put up a thread for that. Well, um, thank you, 
um, if you have questions you think you want to post to other people, post, post, post it on the forums so people can see. You know how to reach me, so if you just want to ask me a question, uh, sure. you can do that by email or by Skype. And um, let's continue this adventure in July. Yeah, we really look forward to that. Me too. Yes, thank you so much for having us. Thank you, and I'll talk to you next week on online. Sure. You have a, a wonderful day. You too. Bye.